Hello and welcome to the Inquisitive Crafter. I'm Katrina Stewart from Crafty Jacks and this is our beginner knitter series. So this is just a quick series of videos demonstrating different knitting techniques for you. So in today's video I'm going to be demonstrating for you how to do a long tail cast on. Now the first thing that you need to know is that you need a length of yarn from the end of your yarn to where you're going to start your cast on as this length is what is going to be used up in your cast on. So what I like to do is I like to take my end and wrap 10 times around the needle and then take that length and go okay that's 10 stitches, that's 20, 30, 40. Then I take a little bit of extra and that is the start of my long tail cast on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drape the end piece over my thumb and the end that's coming from the ball over my index finger, bring those two together and clasp them with my pinky and ring finger. Now I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to come up between my index finger and thumb and then I'm going to come down to this yarn that is held on my thumb I'm going to go up the thumb, then down to my index finger, down the index finger, and pull that loop through the loop that is being held on my thumb. Pull that tight. So again, we're going to go up the thumb, down the index finger, through the loop, and pull tight. Up, down, through, and tight. Up, down, through, and tight. And as you get more proficient at it, you will get faster at it. But that basic motion is up, down, through the loop, and pull tight. Up, down, through the loop, and pull tight. So that is how you do a basic long tail cast on. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.